Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Ratana Cause and Kingdom uh, playthrough here in uh, Victoria 2 with the historical flavor mod. So we have returned, uh, the Himmler Kingdom is not revolting, they're just sort of there. Honestly, not entirely sure what's going on over here. Um, yeah, I don't know, the second Opium War is ongoing as well. Uh, in the previous episode we did stuff, uh, I think that was the episode we conquered this one in. Yeah, I've already forgotten. <coughs> uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if this is a bug or what the fuck's going on. Uh, regardless, uh, I'm currently a bit salty because uh, so far this game has been going great. Um, but the guy who makes the HFM mod just... Uh, HFM... Yeah, no, you're not... I just said mod mod, didn't I? Uh, the HF mod. No, I guess... Yeah, the guy who makes HFM. I should just say. Uh, just released a new version. But I don't want to start over. I want to keep playing. This is... Uh, I'm lazy. I just want to keep going. Uh, nothing too revolutionary was added. Or uh, a decent... Well, a couple of things were actually added that are pretty neat. Um, but nothing overly relevant to my campaign uh, right now. In the unposted uh, Papal State campaign, um, you know, there have, there have been quite a bit of changes to Italy and whatnot. Uh, yeah, the Kingdom <coughs> of Sardinia, for example, uh, Annexes, uh, Modena, Lucca, and Tuscany. Because, uh, yeah, presumably they won the war... Wait, what is... Yeah, I don't know, I, I guess I didn't pay attention, so I'm not sure if uh, Sardinia won the war, um, the first war of Italian independence, but if they, if they had won that in the next version, they would have gained these territories, which ob obviously would have had a big impact on a papal campaign. So, <clears throat> it made sense to ditch that and, you know, postpone it into the future. Uh, however, I'm still just going to keep going with this one. So, so yeah. <coughs> oh man, why am I coughing? I was reasonably a bit sick, but... Uh, and I'm also very allergic, or, you know, it's allergy season, pollen and crap like that, but... Uh, last time I checked, co or pollen didn't make you cough, did it? So, uh, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that, to be honest. But, um, let's just move on. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like the the Heavenly Kingdom war has started. I guess it was just like a, a tie, you know, I guess the game gave, a, you know, gave the Heavenly Kingdom a bit of time to sort of prepare and whatnot. Um, <coughs> God, what the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna have to have some water. Ugh. I think I have some, like, throat tablets as well. Some Ripsils. Yes. I'll have to get some of that. Um, but yeah, Pingyan Guo has uh, come into existence. Um, I really would like to invade them, I'm not gonna lie. Um,. The only problem though, of course, is that I don't have the infamy room right now. I could just risk it and risk the uh, being busted, but uh, I mean, I don't want to do that though, do I? So I guess I could try and pop with them, but I don't know. Not overly hyped about, I that, about that idea either. Yeah. We'll see, yeah, but by, by the time I... No, fuck you with your trading posts. Honestly, what, what are these events about? What What's the... Comment section, explain to me. What the fuck's this supposed to be? That does not look like it's worth it at all. Life needs? No, go away. Pop militancy? Like... Uh, there's... Ah. Uh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, opium? Eh. Uh. Ha Tien, isn't that like a good thing? Or a good place? Yeah, that's very nice. No, we can't afford that. Have them... You know, we, ca we can't risk the tropical wood output. We'll just have to allow them to cre increase their output of salt as well then. If that's the price to pay, you know. There's upsides and downsides and shit. Uh, yeah, we're at 14,000. Go on out. Speed it up. Uh, upper house support. Alright, so yeah. It's the liberals, I think, who want who want that. I don't actually know. 
which people in the upper house support economic reform. I would assume it's the liberals. No, but it, no, it's yeah. Okay. So you know these are the events I want. Western presence, excellent. Get that research point modifier. Two percent. That is totally going to change everything. Victory. Aha! Look at this brilliant stuff. The Thai colonization of West Borneo has begun. Thirty percent Thai in Brunei. We are not even civilized yet. I guess these places aren't technically colonies; they're just states. I mean, you can't have. I mean, yeah, we are like uncivilized. You can't even have colonies. But yeah, Thais are migrating. Look at that: four percent. Uh, four percent. Anyone hanging out in Atse? Nah. Eh, a couple of people have moved over here. A couple of Thais. The end of these things. Blah blah blah. Yeah, the rest of it isn't overly Thai. Uh, these provinces presumably started with some Thai in them. The other, yeah, okay, okay, look at that. Honestly, I do have a culture change mod installed, so we could uh, have a little ever so slight genocide uh, by the end of the game. Yes. Uh, yeah, a couple of people are migrating into Laos as well, so you might be able to get some ethnically, or you know, some major majority Thai areas by the end of the game through the use of uh, a little bit of you know a little bit of genocide. That's 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 standard, isn't it? Am I going to continuously get this event? Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's the Western presence crap. Uh, it keeps forcing me to kill off people all the time. Um, because of the, yeah, because of the thingy. But again, I guess it does reduce militancy. So. Night foreign advisors. Uh. Rama the fifth. Why? Actually, that's a good point. How come I can't purchase? Oh, I can't afford these. No, I can't afford this one. But I need local weapons. Simple constructions. Uh, Academic training and army professionalism. I don't know though. I, I'm not sure how much I trust these things to be honest because they. Um, uh, when I purchased those other things, you didn't actually have to have all of these different things. Or all of the below. That's why it's. <coughs> It's because you don't actually have to have all of the things. There are different... Eh? Ryan. Okay then, this is interesting then. So... If I get academic training... What is that though? Uh, let's see, the one I'm going for right now would give me Malthusian thoughts and enlightened philosophy. Philosophy. I don't think any of those are like uberly relevant. Firearms production. Because I mean, I can't research uh, technology, can I? But I can get certain technologies through these um, other uh, reforms here. So I guess I'll have a look at this crap off screen and I'm not going to bore you guys. Actually, I still don't understand it, because it, it still requires things that you can't get. Like, have invented army professionalism. Like, there's no way to get army professionalism as an unsiv. You can only get the command principle. You can't actually get army professionalism. That's beyond your thing. Academic training? Yeah, wasn't that a requirement for another thing as well? Eh... Uh. Uh, for, for cases. Yeah, academic training. Have academic training. Money is that and that. Literacy is that. Army training is ad hoc. But, but you, uh, field training? What's field training? Uh, there's no 
like presumably it's it's but once again it's over here, wouldn't it be? Yeah, field training. You can't you can't get field training as an unsiv. How would you get that? I guess maybe it's maybe if special nations get special events or something. Still weird though. You can't get that. Because the only way to get technology as an unsave is to do reforms. You, there's no reforms that give you army professionalism. You can only get, uh, if you do, yeah, if you do army training, you can get the command principle. Which gives you, um, I'll get you the command print principle. But you can't go all the way up to navy, or uh, I mean, um, you can't go up to army professionalism. Unless there are like, are there different technologies that both give you command principle? Military staff system. Yeah, that's 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 for that one. But there's no one that gives you yeah, bronze. Uh, like there's none of them that give you the same technology twice and sort of implying that you would get the next level. So that's not a thing. All right, getting low on infamy, so I think it's time to have ourselves a war against Vietnam. I mean, uh, Cambodia. Well, presumably Vietnam as well. But last time I checked, they didn't have an army, so that's fine. Uh, Cambodia does though, for some somehow. I don't know how their economy is better than Vietnam, but whatever. Uh, regardless, we're gonna have ourselves an invasion. We're gonna conquer them. Uh, hopefully, this will be basic, you know, cheap as it has been so far. Uh, yeah, we've been very lucky so far. We sh I shouted that. Ah, uh, okay, well, that yeah, is a bit bad, because now I can't add a second war goal against Vietnam. That is potentially bad. Once again, there's no guarantee that they will actually join the war, though, but still. Eh, uh, it, once again, it's not the end of the world. Uh, military mission? Yes, skip. Skip missions. Come on now. Yes, we're getting some uh, some organization up. Organization is like morale in this game, basically, which is a bit confusing because like your generals actually have a modifier to morale. But as I understand it, actually, I literally, I literally just wrote it or read it today. I never actually, I actually never sort of bother bothered understanding what like reali reliability and shit like that actually means in this game. I just saw some dude on Reddit ask for it, and I was like, "Yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should actually look into figuring that out." So yeah, morale is is uh, a modifier to how fast organization recovers. Oh, never mind. Is it just called? Oh, it's just called morale. Could have sworn this was our yeah unit strength. That's like related to resources. I guess maybe they changed it. Yeah, because it's called organization here, and not morale. Eh. Oh. Treaty of Friendship and Commerce. What, do I have to give up territory or something? Uh. Uh, relations between the meme. Right, so we get relations. And a f reform, okay. Uh, not doing that will give us isolationism, which I do not want. So there's nothing about losing land. And then, then I can't notice any land that went went away. So yeah, I guess that worked out. Choose a trade policy. Ooh. I wonder, could I? Let's see. What, oh, as I fear, no, we can't. We can't do that. It doesn't matter then, because uh, we're just going to get the... We, we don't have any interesting options with the trade policies. Because uh, merch mercantilism is just awful. Wouldn't work. Um, no good. Because, you know, you just lose taxes. And we, we're not going to get it. We're not gaining any money from tariffs anyways. So. Or... Ah, uh, no, we're not. Uh, oh, man, we're making more money in general, though, because of that nice little reform, though. Very nice. Thank you, Britain. All right. Uh, our armies are up to strength, so let's have ourselves an invasion. Mm, conquest. Uh, what? China? <coughs> Excuse me? What do you mean you won't join? 
Oh. <laughs> oh. China does not have an army. What do you have? Where is your army, China? I guess they died in the war? No, oh, still 73 brigades. This is not... This shit doesn't add up. Where's your fucking brigades? It's like 16k lurking over there. 14k there. Th one brigade there. One brigade there. I guess... Are they just like really weak or something? Maybe they're hanging out in the puppets and I just can't see them? Or maybe they're... Yeah, there are some odd numbers. Presumably they're just very weak and maybe the Chinese are ever so slightly bankrupt or... No, if they were, they would have had... Um, presumably more prestige, or I mean less prestige lying around. Well, I guess I can kind of understand it, China, even if I'm still salty about it. Um, Oh, yeah, no, we should be fine. Yeah, no, we we good. Have the Vietnamese built an army? Oh no, no, they haven't. All right, we we good, we good, we good. Yeah, so we're not gonna call anyone in. Then, well, we're gonna call Champa Sak in, but you can't just do that in this game. You actually have to not call them in, and then separately call them in. Although it looks like Champa Sak has ditched the whole army idea as well. Damn it, Champa Sak. Then again, they have like no pop, but still, like, come on, man. That's just mean. Um, attack plus one. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's see if we can just rush the Vietnamese capital as well before things get out of hand over there. Legation quarter. Uh, yeah. You go. Uh, Kung Bang Dynasty is being invaded by the British. Uh, you can have my access, sure. I mean, you very much hate me though, so it doesn't really matter, but... I don't know. This war should be easy. We're probably going to lose the last remnants of our sad army, though. I mean, fucking hell. We can only have three possible brigades at this point. What the fuck? We have two! We have over two million people! What do you mean we can only have three brigades? I mean, obviously we have more than that, but like that that's like the theoretical strength of the army. Alright, uh, Vietnam... Do I want to do anything to you? Could humiliate you for some prestige. Make it pop. Uh, no, I can't afford that. No, nope, fuck. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. No. Can't take the state of Anam. Then again, though, I guess that it could be good as well. Because if I, if I'm going to commit genocide, it would actually be better to wait until I am civilized to conquer these two states, because I can then get them as colonies, which is normally something you not don't want. But in this case, uh, having them as colonies will prevent the locals from being genocided. So we can sort of have like a Vietnamese populace over here. These, yeah. And um, yeah, because genocide is like objectively bad. It's just good. The only good thing about it is the map mode. <laughs> that looks better. Uh, but the map mode look, will look fine even if we avoid committing crimes over here. So. Yeah, I think, I think... I think that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the bright side of things. Also, would you just leave the war, honestly? No? Oh, really? You're not? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to keep occupying then. What? My military mission? Oh, God! 20 war exhaustion? Ugh. That is not good. Yeah, let's try and wrap this up then. Oof. Fun the military as, as well. I see you there, Mr. Vietnam, trying to recruit troops and whatnot. I shall not stand by it. Socialism has been invented. Fascinating. Alright, we white-pieced uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Uh, Cambodia is now willing to be incorporated. And we can purchase foreign ships. All right. Uh... Yeah, uh... Wait, what? Okay, so the game claims we have invaded screw-propellered steamers. But we, we don't. We don't have any naval tech. What are you on about? Screw-propelled steamers? What you, yeah, that's... Comment section! What's going on? I, in no way, shape or form, have screw-propelled steamers. <gasps> Wait. 
Is it maybe... Is it maybe not my technology? Maybe it's the British technology. I want to know that. Let's do a bit of cheating. Uh, tag, uh, I think... Yeah, I think it's Eng, actually. Because this game is based off... Uh, it's based off EU4. <coughs> Which is why it's which is why the tag is England and not uh, Britain, because obviously Britain starts out as England is in that game. Uh, let's see then. Oh, they do have that, and they do not have military plans, nor do they have iron. <coughs> right, that does explain it. That's why. Hey, we can get oh, we can get missionaries. Do we want to do that though? Honestly, I'm tempted to do it just for the memes, just to just to try it out. Uh, our religion is boring, anyways, and it's a bit all over the place, to be honest. So, I wish I could put a protection thing over the animists, because I like animism. But um, Theravada, Mahayana. Like, uh, you know. Uh, also, yeah, I'm gonna have to reload the game after this. Because when you tag switch to another nation, like I just, I tag switched over to Britain, uh, essentially it just kills the British AI so they won't be able to do anything. <coughs> so I'm gonna have to reload. But that's fine. Ah! Uh, can I, by the way, do. Ah, very close though. Woo! Woo! Look at that though, F 45%, yeah. Now let's buy those ships and get that even further up. Oh fuck, I lose? Oh yeah, that's right, you do lose. Well, let's hold off on that then. Because there's no immediate gain from getting this crud. Um, fuck, one thing I should have done though, now that I think about it, is... Uh, yeah, I really should have gotten uh, training methods. Oh god, I should have gotten that way earlier. Oh shit, yeah, because I haven't been getting a single bit of research points from conquering anything. And now I'm basically done conquering until I civilize, so... Well, that was stupid! Uh, whatever then. Uh, let's just get some missionaries going. Yeah, let the lads be salty and let the prestige be dead. Who cares? Uh, research points plus five. Uh, education efficiency plus five. <gasps> Yes. <coughs> Excellent. Are there a way to get rid of them though? Like if I change my mind. But it'll be interesting to see how this actually adds up. Because like, will will I like actually will it impact the religion? Let's keep. On, we guess I'll keep an eye up on it. See if I get any. Yeah, Protestantism it would be because it's Britain. Um, we will see. Although not, yeah, because it just automatically asked the British, didn't it? Then again, maybe I did. Ju maybe I just didn't get a choice because I'm in a sphere. That might be it. Not sure. I mean, regardless. Uh, oh yeah, fuck. I need to. Yeah, I need to. I need to get out of the game. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna end this episode with the final glory of finally getting foreign universities. Education efficiency plus ten and civilization progress plus twenty five. Extra plurality. Malthusian thought and enlightenment philosophy. So that's another 10% education efficiency and another 50% research points. So we go from 3.7 or yeah, 3. Point close to 8 uh, research points to fucking 5. Point almost 2. Yes. And we only need another 30% of chits and we're done. Uh, we well yeah, we should yeah, we can get cheap uh, boats. So that's fine. So that's five percent. So what? What's what's twenty-five percent? Uh, international debt. Oh fuck! That gives you a lot of shit. Oh, it doesn't tell me how much it costs. Well, I'm gonna start planning it out once I get once I can uh, see what things cost again. Then, um, regardless, thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.